Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I just want to say I appreciate every, everyone that reached out to me via email. I was not in the area when the tragic event happened. I was at home. But once again, I appreciate it very much. So on to today's video. AT&T turns on another seed city using millimeter wave 5G spectrum in New York City. But again, this is only for business customers for now. But starting in quarter two of next year, we're going to start seeing nationwide broader coverage using their sub 6 gigahertz spectrum. So right now, for my internal sources, like I told you guys through Radio Shack, I still have some internal sources. Currently, AT&T does not see the benefit of offering 5G millimeter wave spectrum to the consumer as the consumer sees no benefit in it. Currently, the consumer is not willing to pay twelve thirteen fourteen hundred dollars uh, and even more maybe depending on what the note 10 is going to cost today is their unveiling of the note 10 5g and we're going to see what those prices are so the customer sees no benefit in only getting 5g in uh, some areas sometimes you even have to be stationary to receive this 5g the consumer will far more be interested when the phones are coming in at a lower cost and the coverage is much broader and nationwide. That's when the consumer will show uh, a bit more interest into the 5G. But currently, AT&T says a lot of consumers aren't showing uh, enough interest into the 5G. And I'm sure it's the same with Verizon, although they do offer it on the consumer side. I'm quite sure there aren't a ton of customers just running in stores asking for 5G and 5G phones. So I just wanted to... Uh, let everyone know that AT&T is working on that uh, millimeter wave spectrum as well. They're rolling it out quite aggressively. I would say, I know right now it's on the, it's on the business side only, but I would say in terms of uh, the millimeter wave 5G, AT&T currently probably has the most cities rolled out and live for the business side. Um, I'm going to say they're at a number over 12 currently. There are over 12 cities right now currently live with uh, 5G millimeter wave spectrum. Of course, none of them have a coverage map except Sprint and T-Mobile currently. Uh, AT&T and Verizon do not offer one. But I'm hoping in the future that they will offer a 5G map that shows, okay, in these areas you get the, the 5G sub 6 gigahertz. And in these areas you would connect to the millimeter wave spectrum. So again, I just want to say thank you to everyone that reached out to me. Uh, I am okay. I was not in the area when it took place. But uh, thanks anyway for all the emails. So again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is a negative for AT&T, that they should have offered it on the uh, consumer side, or is the is it you know, offering it for the business customer at this point in time, is it okay? So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.